Barfing Dragons. She's the dinkiest of uh, the clutches this year. Love her to bits. Anyways, there we go. Job done. Look at that. You go for it. You're like a little crocodile. So uh, when it comes to barfing, it doesn't have to be too big, too deep, whatever works for you. I just normally use this little tub. Put a bit of water in. Lukewarm water. Uh, not too hot, not too cold. Don't want to shock them. And uh, literally just let them soak. Let them soak for 10-15 uh, minutes. Keep an eye on them. Sometimes they jump on each other's head, push, push each other down. Uh, and that's it, really. Now, uh, personally, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I, I condition the water, the pipette water I give them, their baths. I, I've been using this stuff for about five, six years. It conditions, uh, is meant to be an instant water conditioner. Removes all the nasties from the water. Okay, and it helps with hydration and electrolytes and all that kind of stuff that I'm not going to go into because you probably get the idea. But uh, I just like to think uh, it, it's a, a good a good habit because you don't really a lot goes into that water actually. I'm not going to break it down for you, but hey, I do this um, once a week. If I see they're they're shedding, need a bit of extra help. Sometimes I do it twice a week. I go with kind of like gut feelings and I just see what they're saying to me and try and understand them. Um, but yeah, that's that's bath in the dragons. <laughs> I put this in the middle. Sometimes they just like to sit on it and get their bodies out of the water, you know, for a little bit. But in general, that's what goes down. And uh, the same with the adults. To be honest, I, I only this is only big enough for one of the adults at a time. I let them do their thing. 